Uh, hey guys, my name is Katan Dewan. I am design lead at Displace Media. Today I want to show you how you can make your very own shockwave effect in Unreal Engine 4. So I have the a brand new first person shooter template which is completely untouched. Um, go ahead and open up the blueprints folder. Everything we need to do is going to be done in here. I've already gone ahead and made my own smoke sprite that we're going to be using. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag that in here. Let's name, oops, let's name this TX underscore smoke. All right, create a new material. Let's name that empty underscore smoke. Open it up, drag the texture into there. Texture option, or uh, the material options, I'm going to set blend mode to translucent and the shading model to unlit. I'm gonna come down here and select uh, used with particle sprites. Go ahead and right click and get a particle color node. And I'm going to go ahead and multiply the channels with that node. So let's get two multiply nodes going. Uh, this texture that I made doesn't have an alpha channel, so I'm just going to tie the color channel into opacity, and Unreal will figure that out. Let's get that all connected here. And there we go. Uh, I'll go ahead and hit save. All right, I uh, never need to open that up again. Uh, right click, create a new particle system. Let's name this FX underscore shockwave uh, one. Let's open this up. Uh, under required, let's assign the smoke we just made. Uh, the shockwave is only gonna play once, so we don't have to have an infinite uh, loop that's set by default. So under duration, Set emitter loops to one. We want uh, the whole, all the sprites to come out at once instead of one at a time. Uh, so set the spawn rate to to zero, and add, go ahead and add a new burst list, and we'll set that to fifty. All right, lifetime. We can leave lifetime the way it is. Size is fine. Go ahead and delete initial velocity. Right click here, go to location, and add a cylinder. Let's set the start radius to one. Set the start height to one also. Uh, I'm gonna have the height axis as uh, Y, so I don't have to change the camera. Let's deselect positive y, deselect negative y, turn on velocity, and then let's set velocity scale to 100. Okay, that's pretty. That's pretty good. Uh, but I don't like the. Um, I want a more uniform approach to our shockwave, so we're gonna go ahead and select surface only, and that's pretty good. Go ahead and hit save. Uh, go ahead and open up uh, my character. Go to components, zoom out a little bit, uh, add a particle effect, and we're going to use this as the muzzle. Um, so I'm going to make this a child of the mesh. So wherever we point the, the, the mesh, uh, the particle system will orient itself to it. All right, this doesn't have to be perfect, so I'm just gonna. Ugh. All right, let's let's change the snaps here. All right, that's good. Uh, go ahead and compile. Ah, uh, yes, we need to uh, assign this the particle we just made. So. Set that. Uh, you can see that it's sideways, so let's add 90 to the Z rotation. That should be good. Let's turn off auto activate, otherwise, it'll go off as soon as we start our scene. 
Okay, uh, this is the um, the blueprint uh, sequence for firing uh, when you click. So we want it to go off then. So open up the uh, window palette because it won't be in the right click uh, menu, but go and type in activate. Activate, there we go. Drag that out. I'm gonna go ahead and delete sound because I think the sound for the gun is really loud. Let's drag this to this. Uh, get the particle system that you just made connect that and go ahead and check reset that way um, it'll fire as fast uh, as we click instead of waiting until the particle systems done to play again so I hit compile and I'm gonna open this and play it in a new window all right that's it as you can see it works pretty well orients itself right where the gun is and it fires as fast as we click. Um, you can modify it however you want. If you select uh, local space only uh, underneath the, uh, the the required menu I think um, it'll, the, muzzle, the, the effect will stay with the gun as you move instead of staying in world space. Uh, what I want to do next is quickly add a a similar effect to when the uh, projectile hits a wall or anything like that. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and just um, use the same particle system, but we're gonna duplicate it. Let's name this FX Shockwave 2. Open it up. Uh, let's get rid of cylinder and right click. Go to location and add a sphere. A little more realistic. Let's add the same option. Start radius one. Uh, we can leave all the um, x through x y z values there. Click surface only. Click velocity, and let's set the velocity scale to a hundred. Uh, let's add a little bit more uh, particles in there. So, go to spawn and then. In your burst list, uh, go ahead and change it from 50 to 100. I'm going to hit save, close that, and close that. Uh, open up the projectile blueprint. I'm going to click out of here and get a sequence. There we go. I'm gonna assign the stuff that's already there to the second one. And then for the first one, go ahead and add a spawn emitter at location. Select the asset you just, select the particle system you just made, FX Shockwave 2. And location, we're gonna just get the actor location. location. So this is basically saying on event hit, um, spawn the effect at the location. So hit compile, hit play, and as you can see it works every time it hits. I would recommend you don't use the same effect for the muzzle as you do for the dust, um, but for tutorials it works for us. All right, uh, that's it for now. Um, if you guys want to go ahead and subscribe to the Displaced Media Twitter page, so the twitter.com slash displaced media. Um, you can I'll I'll be posting updates and whatnot here. Um, but yeah, it's uh it's just at Displace Media at Twitter, and I'll keep it updated. Uh, I've also I also plan on making more tutorials, more so on UMG and stuff like that. But I'm very I'm very familiar with the effects, so I'll continue to do stuff with that as well. All right, thank you.